up? I mean, yeah. What is? What's going on? Boy turned 30. Why are you dressed like this? It's my birthday. No, I understand. I'm going to a very nice, luxurious dinner. I understand, but you look like you came in here to kill me. Well, we'll see how the episode goes. It just might have to. All right. Had to be fresh. Had to be fresh. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. I, I, was, mean, wait, you, I was waiting for that. I mean, I said happy birthday today. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, you, like... Don't try to do that. Make me look like an asshole. I need some pizzazz. You need some pizzazz? Piz, 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 piz. Happy birthday! Yes. How's you, that? You know what I hate when people go, happy birthday to you. I don't like that one. Yeah, me neither. Stick to regular happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's I hate fine. That. You big birthday guy? And I, yeah. I wasn't confident. Uh, uh no, no, I'm really not a big birthday guy. You don't like birthdays? No, I really don't. Because here's why. I don't like as much as you people might think it's, if this is a lie, I don't like to be the center of attention, like going out. Right. Like if we go like, I don't want everyone to come to like a social event because of me. Why not? Because I, I feel like, uh, like who am I? Yeah. Like, like I'd much rather go to somebody else's birthday party than my own is what I'm saying. Yeah. Usually on my birthdays, like I'm sober and like, it's like whatever. Yeah. And then other people's birthdays, I'm like blacking out and throwing up in a boot. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, you got to go to a way to like go out of your way to make plans and shit and like reserve a play. Like, I don't want to do all that. Like I'm going out tonight. I'm having a nice fucking dinner and I'm yeah. chilling. You're turtlenecking very hard right now. Fucking fresh, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm fresh as shit. And I already know that the the carpet matches the drapes. Oh, you get what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Two turtlenecks. Deep two, dark. Two turtle doves. This one right here is the first sweater underneath here. Yeah. Just need a little reinforcement because it's cold as shit in New York. Oh, you have two sweaters on? No, it's just in my, ch- my chest hair. Oh, oh, that's yeah, what you yeah, meant. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Every, not know, everyone can be a hairless wonder like you, my I'm friend. I'm not a hairless wonder. I got a little pepper. You have like a little pepper. We've seen it before. Look at that. You, Look at my d- pepper. Do you have nip hair? Oh, oh yeah. You have that's like it's wh- like it's like long scientist hair. Yeah, like, it's you know, like, mad yeah. scientists when they got like yeah. You ever thought about like, clipping your? You know nips? that you know that doll from Rugrats? Yes, uh, the, Angelica. Uh, no, no, no. The, that's the girl's name. The other one, uh, Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia. With Cynthia. The, fu- the fucked up side of her head. Those yes. are my nipples. Look. You have like Homer Simpson hairs. Yeah, yeah. Those are like Homer's. You know what I'm saying? Why would you not clip those nips? How, with what? With just, like a yeah, just boss them. Uh, I don't know. I should, it, dude, but it, I haven't. You, my chest hair stain. I kind of think it gives me some character. I'm very jealous of like your manscaping. Like, uh, you're, it's low maintenance. Well, I just don't get a lot of it. Yeah, I need like reinforcements. I need all kinds of shave creams, machinery, all types of stuff. Heavy machinery too. Yeah. Like I can't like that shit has to be fully charged. Can't go yeah. half battery with the buzzer. I'm <laughs> you, know, you know, that's actually a real thing. Like, I'm laughing, but I know. It's true. Even for me, my buzzer, when it's like, your buzzer just kind of gives up on you sometimes when it's low battery. It's just kind of like, eh. <laughs> You can hear it, but too. Usually, it's like full battery. It's like, it's cut your face. That's the worst part because it's like, it's, it's, it always it's di- it always di- yeah, it starts pulling, and it always dies at the moment when you're like, I need you the most. Yeah. It's good. And then, and then it's over. Fuck. And you're like, fuck, man. Yeah, man. And I'm having my beards grown back, too. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's all anyone ever talked about was your beard. I know. Just, video. guys, let it go. It's a be- It grows back. First, alopecia. first it was my hair. In that- <laughs> Jesus. First, it was my hair in that uh, Santa Gato Studios video. I don't know what that was about. Here, that here, was very strange. Can I say something? I will, because uh, this is going to get weird. I didn't want to talk about it. But anyway. No, I want to talk about it. I was very upset by it. So I put out a video on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Santa Gato Studios. A lot of good content on there. Me and Danny just reacted to childbirth, which yeah. is interesting. Uh, but uh, I did a video with Frankie where we just sit on the couch. We have a glass of whiskey. And we just kind of just bullshit. You know? Whiskey talks. And Great fucking show. I had just gotten a haircut that morning. So I took a shower. Yeah. And then I just sat on the couch. Yeah. And everyone's like, what is this hair? Joe, we need to talk about your hair. Dude, you went from third grade to second grade. You, you regressed. And it's like. I just didn't put it like now. I don't have anything in my hair. It's I don't have anything in my hair right now. I'm either. just sitting. Can I just sit? You I, fucking psychos. The, the thing I don't get is is that it's um like the bandwagon comment section. Yeah, where it's like, oh, they said something about his hair. Now let's all talk about his hair. Everyone. They did it about my beard. Yeah, I understand. 
And everyone, it's gonna grow back if you listen to the episode. You know why? You know why I don't. Everyone's have like, it. "Yo, why is Danny's fit?" It's like because we talked about it in the first five <laughs> seconds of this fucking if you, episode. If you listen to the show, <laughs> you will understand that you will get your answer. Nobody wants to have a bald face. No, I mean some people do. Some I, people look good with it, but they got chiseled jaws and like yeah, rock yeah. hard abs, and they're like have a Mediterranean tan. Yeah, but we're not those that. guys. Can't do that yet. Can't do that. Probably won't ever be able to do. Oh that. no, you won't. You know what I mean? Me neither. It, 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 it's, it's a lifestyle having a beard. Yeah, what? Because it needs upkeep. You can't just get crazy. Yeah, I mean, I try to make you look. You know, I just, I keep up, I keep downkeep. Like below, I just do this. Yeah. Everything else, I just let go. Just do your, just do your stuff. You ever get like the, like the breakout stuff here? Yeah, look at me. First oh, of all, that's, that's much. another thing. In all, all the comments of my videos, everyone's like, ooh, Joe's got a hickey. I'm 26. Yeah. Anything getting Why sucked would I on. get a hickey? Yeah, anything's getting sucked on, it's going to be that peen peen. Yeah, my fucking penis is getting sucked. Yeah. Not my neck. If a girl started, What is that going to do for me? If a girl started sucking my neck now, I'd stop her. Y yes, I've never got a hickey in my life. Now people are going to be wondering why I'm wearing a turtleneck. Yeah, I don't yeah, have any hickeys. Yeah, you got to prove, prove what you're doing here. Yo, I'll be honest with you. This is my first ever turtleneck. I feel the fuck out of them. Do you? Yeah. They're going to be... They're gonna be more no i mean i think it needs to be combined with something yeah like just like, a turtleneck you're like steve jobs in it yeah i don't yeah, know yeah, i don't no. know this and like i had a denim jacket on before which was fly too the gold makes it pop too yeah you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like if you're just gonna wear a turtleneck with like no sweater yeah. cardigan jacket open whatever i don't know so like i feel look, like you would need like one of those laser pointers like on our next slide like you're one of those guys i think you yeah yeah <laughs> i think you look good in a turtleneck though me? You do have a brolic neck, so it might make you look make you look jacked. My neck is huge. Yeah, like make your traps look big. You just got to roll on them. My neck is like 16 and a half. I yeah. got measured the other day. Yeah, it's big. It's that's a big, big. It's a that's thick big. ass neck. I'll do some damage to this guy. That's what I'm thing. saying. You know fucking what I mean? be hard knocking you out. That fucking <laughs> big old neck. No, but if do you have like a new chain or am I crazy? Yeah, this is uh I have three angels here. So this is one of them I got in Italy. This is a guardian angel right there. Yeah. This is the same pendant, but it's just smaller. Okay. And then this is just like a guardian angel type thing. Nice. I'm, 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 I'm trying I'm, to protect yourself at all costs. Protect myself at all costs, but they represent different people in my life. Am I on there? Not yet. <laughs> Yours is coming. Yours is coming. I don't know man, how many more chains you could get on that neck before you're fucking... Because they're all just like different sizes. They're getting smaller and smaller. Eventually, you're going to be choking. No, yeah, yeah. But they fit well. Like I could never wear like a long ass chain. Yeah, me neither. Uh, no, no, no. I think you could wear you could wear layering like this. Yeah, I would like a chain. I don't know about a whole like pendant like that angel you got going over there. Well, that, that's why it's on the smallest one, and then it sits here. It's white and yellow gold, and, uh -huh. it, just, and it just sits above the other two ones. Nice. So it's like it watches over these other two. I'm trying to explain why I spent so much money on jewelry. Right. Yeah. You, now your angel is watching over the other other angels. Yes. Angelception. Yeah. Type of deal. Bracelet you should get. Yeah, wasn't that on the other wrist or am I crazy? Yeah, it was. I changed it. Why? You really want to know? I don't know if I want to know now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if people know this, but I am left-handed. Oh, I already know where this is going. And this is my masturbation pre <laughs> preferred hand. Wait, you never switch it up? Yeah, of course. Oh, I of don't. Of course, of course. It depends, like, um, which way I'm laying on the bed. Like, I'll start out righty sometimes and then roll over and go lefty, you know? But, uh, Wait, you jerk off on your side? Sometimes. You jerk off on your back? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You just wait, come wait. on your. You just come on yourself. <laughs> you jerk off, lay into the side like you got drunk at a party. Your friends like make sure he doesn't throw up. Yeah, sometimes. And then I put my leg up like this, so I have like more range of motion to get in there. Wait. Yeah, dude. I'm telling. I'm telling you, it's awesome. You're sideways with one leg up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Whoa. That's a power stance. Yeah. You, you beat that thing right off your body. That's what I'm saying. It, there are certain positions where you masturbate where you could get gra like grab more of your dick. Like, if you're jerking off in pants, you don't have the full extension. Oh, I'm not jerking off in pants. No, 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 no. Do I you, let my dick hit the wind if yeah, I'm jerking off. that's what off. I'm saying. But you jerk off on your back, that means you come on yourself almost every time. Yeah, but I clean it up. <laughs> what, has Jizz never touched your body? No, it, I, I prefer it not to, like, touch my body. Get over yourself. You make me sick. You just let yourself go right there on your belly bells? It's not always there. Sometimes. But yeah, sometimes it does. After two days and you're like charged up, it's getting up there. Wait, what are you trying to say? I'm saying it's popping up to the top. What's the farthest you've ever busted on yourself? <laughs> 
Man, I hope my mom's not watching. I know, this one. me too. Um, I've hit chest. I I've, hit, I've, I've hit my chest. Oh, you're over here j- jizzing on your own chest? <laughs> is that you trying to get at me? No, it's we're getting some belly button action. All or I'm saying is, I've learned from my mistake. <laughs> if if I aimed a little bit higher, it would be, I'd be in a different profession. I right just now. can't like. This is not comfortable. No, nah, I'm telling you, try it with the one leg up, and you'll be good. Yeah, you could do it. You could I do it. I feel like I have done that before. Of course. I just uh, going Jane and I jerk off back. coffin style just No, that's like that's like weird like No, I don't it, stare at the ceiling. I'm about to say that's like indie movie jerking. No, off. no, no. Wait, what? That's like how people get jerked off in like indie movies. Oh, I I haven't I haven't I haven't caught that film. No. But So anyway, that chair Yeah, I'm so I, so I switch it to this side one because my tattoos on this side, so I like cuz it just like pops with that a little bit more. And then I just like it having it on this one because I'm waiting for something else on here. A watch. <laughs> I was going to say, am, am I supposed to provide this? Yeah, like, maybe it's something. You're like, uh, I was just in, waiting on some. In a way, in a way, you'd be providing for it, but I'm looking at I'm looking at a couple things. Well, I'm looking at some things too. All right? Don't you think after 25, 26, you should have a nice watch? Yeah, a little roly. You gotta have you have to have the roly. I think. Yeah, you've worked way too hard in your life to not have like. If I looked at you right now, this is why you have more money than me, though. <laughs> because you have no problem wearing a sweatshirt. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I don't even want to say how much this outfit costs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you were gonna go out, what would you wear right now that you have in your closet? Where am I going? Just as fly as you can be. Oh, I'm I'm dressing up. Yeah, but it still depends where I'm going. Wedding. But it's like a casual wedding, like not you're not in the wedding, you're just going to the party. I would just wear like a suit. And, and like, like a some suit nice and tie? Shoes. Yeah, a suit and tie. Nice shoes, a watch. But I don't have a nice watch yet. Yeah. Those I, are the those are coming next. Well, I have nice watch like I don't have an expensive ex, expenses. expenses. I don't have an expensive watch. Tr- your trunk came out a little bit right there. I don't have an expenses <laughs> watch. <laughs> nice shoes. I don't have a expenses. <laughs> Hamburger, hamburger, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I think the next thing for me is is going to be the rolly, rolly, rolly with the bag of ranch. Dab bag of ranch? Is it dab of ranch or bag of ranch? What is a bag of ranch? I don't know. It is snowing like a motherfucker outside oh right my now. God, we're in a snow <laughs> globe. Jesus Christ! The vortex is hitting. Did you have a snow globe when you were a kid? What? Hell yeah, bitch! They were awesome. I mean, you would try to spin the shit out of it. Yeah, that's Make where like I learned a snow snow nato. Yes. You're like, yo, this little Santa Claus in here it would be fucked. Yeah. Talking about jerking off, we got most of our our stroke probably from snow globes. No? You're on your own. With you that. fingered Tigger once. Let's not forget that. Why you got to bring this? Why, uh, I'm just saying. You got to bring that up. I'm just saying. You also jizzed on your own chest, you fucking weirdo. By accident. And also, <laughs> just saying. I, it was because I used that stupid friggin' style that you use. What? Laying on your back and jacking it. on my back. Up. Back jack. A back jack is not is is not preferable. But yo, so side jack is better. Have you ever stand jacked? I have stand jack. Stand jack is pretty is pretty. Legit. Brings you to your knees sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it does. Not Buck- to your knees, but you know. No, it does. It'll buckle you. It'll buckle you. Oh, whoa. Yeah. It's like if someone kicks the back of your knee and your whole leg just collapse. You ever hold your breath so long, and but you haven't like finished yet, so you have to take a big deep breath again. Or is that just me? Wait, one more time. So so like you're doing. And, but but you can't finish, and you're like, ah. and then you got to restart. Wait, why do you hold your breath? Yeah, when you when you when you masturbate, you're you're holding your breath. I don't think you've ever realized that. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I breathe. No, no, as you're like climaxing, you're, oh. prob- you're probably breathing. Oh, like yeah, because when you're doing this, you're not going. Ah. I would hope not. It'd be a little scary to watch you, Jay. This conversation. Hey, what are you gonna do? We literally had no this, plan coming this, into this fucking uh, yeah, yeah. This podcast. This We're like, stem- yeah, I just turned them on. This all stems from the, why I changed my bracelet to the other side. We yeah. still haven't gotten off this bracelet. So anyway, you move the bracelet because you jerk off with that hand. Yes, and it was like it was getting caught like I'm on pajamas and stuff, and like I just can't have that. Also, I don't want a J on this either. That is in in the splash zone. This is in the splash zone, but this is a very nice, beautiful piece right here. Yeah. So we got to get you some ice. We gotta ice you out. Jesus. Yeah. I have some ice. Do you think? Do you think? Um, no, I don't. Yeah, no, you don't. Do you think like? Uh, do you think metrosexual is still a thing? 
Yo, one time my dad thought that was if you're gay and on the subway. Shut your fucking mouth. I hell. swear. My dad was like, metrosexual? What is that? What, like, you're gay on the subway? <laughs> what, are you one of those gays on the train? Were you kissing guys on the train? <laughs> what, metrosexual? You, what, are you gay? what, are you gay, gay on the train? You metrosexual, eh? My dad literally said that. He was like, yeah, what, metrosexual? What does that mean? You kiss men on the train? <laughs> like, no. It's funny because it's true. Wait, so it's just like you, you, uh, you dress... Yeah, like, it, it's a male that... Is cares about his appearance? Cares about his appearance. Back in the day, like, metrosexual was like a thing. Yeah, like... I, I don't hear that term. You your eyebrows? Your eyebrows? Your eyebrows. Yeah, I mean, they always add plurals where, you're, where they're not supposed to You have to good eyebrows. I've never touched them. Me and you both have great eyebrows. We have immaculate eyebrows. People have told me that. Yeah, But do. I also have, like, this thing... Which one is it? This one or that, this one? That one, it, it extends a little it, longer. It, like, goes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. how it goes up? Like, people are like, yo, we gotta fix that. And I'm like... I love when people tell you you gotta fix something. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have to fix shit. Joe, this hair is fucking nuts. Oh, let me go back to that, too. I, this one's gonna be a little over the place. Guys, do you guys really care about his hair that much? <laughs> I was like, this kid had a friggin' uh, uh, a spiky... Jimmy Neutron haircut up until like eight months ago. Whoa. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you had a branded look. Yeah. And if they like that over your hair now, these people are nuts. <laughs> these people are nuts. Oh, God. You know, I love your hair now. Thank I'm you. so happy you have a new hairstyle. <laughs> Looking back on it, it wasn't very uh, flattering. No, it, it, it wasn't. Listen, dude. I've it seen, wasn't the worst. I've seen way worse hairstyles, dude. Yeah, sure. I've seen way worse. I'm sure. You grew up. You got an adult haircut. <laughs> you know what sucks, too? It's like... That's a 23-year-old haircut. It is. It's so... You know what sucks, too? It's like, I am I started the, like, I have a haircut, like, a third grader and, like, the Jimmy Neutron thing, right? And then everyone runs with it and says it back to me. Oh. As if, if that's going to get a reaction, like, I didn't fucking create this. Right. It's like, I said it first, you fucking thief. Yeah. Now well, you're trying to steal my own joke, do me. I can tell you this right now. I could weigh 110 pounds. People are still going to call me fat. Yeah. You know? Oh, God. I hate when people just drive things into the ground. You know what I mean? Not L that it doesn't bother. Because, listen, I understand. Just... I make fun of people all the time. I'm not offended by people being like, your right. hair. Well I, well, I will say, though. Yeah. Right? Because it's one thing if it's funny. Because with your facial hair, that video when people were flipping out like, yo, what the fuck? Where's Danny's fips? <laughs> Someone said you look like the guy from the game Operation, which is fucking hilarious. I that was probably my favorite comment of all of them. That was great. Yeah, that like, one. Yo, Danny looks like the guy on the cover of the Operation game. <laughs> like I, I, I looked at that one, and it yeah. was one of those ones where I didn't laugh. I just kept like going. I was like, "He's right. <laughs> He's right. He's you. absolutely right. He's right." You know. And I was just like, "Oh god, oh god." See, like stuff like that, like making fun. Yeah, like, be creative. I, I love it, but like for everyone to write the same thing of like. What's going on with your hair? Or his hair? Like, what's going on with his hair? His hair? And it's like... Okay, watch the video. Say something. Like, be funny. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just a little something. Don't ask me the same question that 45 other people have asked. Yeah, listen. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm trying to hold it together here, but it is fucking absurd out there. I know. It's Guys, scary. I really wish I could show you what the outside <laughs> looks like right now. I'm legitimately concerned. I know. Oh, my jacket's suede, too. Fuck. Your jacket suede? Yeah. Did you do... What, who made your socks? Who made my socks? They're Gucci socks. Down to the socks. What about underwear? Underwear is Calvin Klein. Oh, we're just going to pretend like that's not a, also a designer brand. Yeah, no, I guess they're... Yeah, they're a designer. This is H&M. This is Ralph Lauren. These are Versace. My sneakers are Louis Vuitton, thank the, thanks to you. Christmas gift. Christmas gift. And my pants are H&M, too. You are just a fly motherfucker, aren't you? I try to be. I try to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to influence you, man. To you do have, what? You have spend my money? You have the power to be fly. The power to be, be fly? You could be fly on a budget. You don't have to spend mad money. <laughs> fly on a budget? Yeah, man. H&M makes great shit. I am athletically fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I look like, oh, that guy's looks good for like an athletic kid. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. But no one's going to be You have like, an expensive haircut. <laughs> There's nothing really expensive that I have. My car's expensive. Yeah. But that's it. But that's cool though. What's cool? Like if I'm gonna spend like a lot of money on something cool, like that's cool. The car. Yeah. 
Like you could wear like regular athletic shit and pull up in that, you're good. You know what I mean? That's usually how it goes. Well, I don't have to spend money on a car, so I spend it on other stuff. Right. You know what I mean? I just think, angels. Oh, angels. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, yeah, that's how it works for me at least. And you have a couple Apple watches, don't you? I do. I do. Yeah. I have an Hermes Apple Watch. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even know they made that. Yeah, they sort do. Sort of thing. Yeah, no, it's cool. But I didn't wear any watch today because I didn't want to. The band that I have doesn't match what didn't match the rest of the clothes. So right. I just went with the gold. Fuck it. All right. But, you know, that's how I move. You wear a watch when you jerk off? No, I always take that off too. Are you worried about. Well, they're, they're water resistant, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are. They have the little th- dial where you can go beep, 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 and it actually spit like spits the water out. What? So on Apple Watches, they have a speaker system. So when water gets in the speaker, they play bass. Like it'll go brruh, 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 and spit the water out of the watch. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. Yeah. You you twist it with the little like the the crown on top and go like this. It goes and everything comes out. Gets all the water out of your watch. So just ka 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 and pa 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 pa. Yeah, comes and right then out. It's done. Yeah, man. I'm telling I, you, that is unbelievable. Yeah. Not as unbelievable as this fucking snow out here, I know, though. I know, it, it, Jesus it, 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 Christ. It is very distracting. I honestly think this is... Do you see how it looks like... That snow, obviously we see this, but like, there's some smoke out there. I know. It just looks smoky. Kind of looks like the end of the world a little bit. I mean, I'm not excited to... You know, after we end this podcast, we're going to have a conversation about that. Like an in-depth one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That right. where I'm a little scared. Yeah, for sure. But right now, we have to kind of hold it together for the show. You want to know what it is? There's men out there working right now. There's homeless people out there right yeah, now. Yeah, that always bums me out, too. Damn, you really brought me down. Dude. Sorry. It's all right. Happy birthday. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, ah, oh, damn. Now, oh, man, I'm all fucked up now. Yeah. No, Tomorrow but it's, 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 one of like, those, it's one of those things, though, you don't really think about. People working? Like, no, people, people working, I think about it all the time. But, right. like, people fucking being homeless and it's fucking snowing like crazy out right now. Uh, it's, I can't. Yeah. I can't imagine it. How long do you think you could you could like do like a documentary and be homeless? Like like if you were like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna go like I'm a f- indie film director and I'm gonna go homeless for X amount of days. How many X amount of days could you do? Uno mas. That doesn't make sense. That would ma- like realistically <laughs> one more, <laughs> one more. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I think I could do three days. I would say five. Wow. I'd be starving. Yeah. Well, you could go to shelters, but it's still... No, no, no. You oh, wait, hold on. Where? When? New York City right now. This. Oh, oh no. Like, the you, answer is no. I think I could do three days homeless. No. You could go out there and live in that for three days. Well, I would just go on the train. I'd you be, don't have I'd money. Be a, I'd be a metrosexual. <laughs> a jump to turn style. And just ride the train all day till till this fucking gave out. I think I could be perfectly homeless for three days. Did I just say perfectly homeless? Yeah, I don't know what you mean by that. I don't know. That sounds like a like a like a movie. Perfectly homeless. Yeah. That does not sound like a movie. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> or a shitty book. One or the other. Or it sounds like an indie film where the guy goes undercover as a homeless person. Why would you do that? No, I don't know. No, they I think have, there is one. Yeah, though. like they go on like Skid Row and shit. What's that? It's like it's a good in, band. No, yeah, it is, but it's in Los Angeles. It's oh, like, it's like basically like the home, like the yeah. gallery of homeless. Yeah, people. Uh huh. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but uh, yeah, it's definitely like I don't not want to be offensive, but it's like it's, well, they can't watch this. So. Yeah, no, yeah, I, but it's a strip of homeless people. Okay. So it's like, you know how we have like the Upper East Side, the Lower East Side. Then there's like they have Skid Row. They have Skid Row where everyone goes to be homeless, and there's like a hierarchy there and shit. That's kind of cool. The king of the homeless. <sighs> That's probably the lowest king you would ever want to be. Well, yeah, I'm not trying to be like funny. Well, I am a little bit. Welcome to the basement yard. Welcome My name's <laughs> Joe Santagata. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but like, they, but they all like wait, bang and s- shit. Well, yeah, you gotta fuck. Yeah, I feel like homeless people bang hard. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, if I was homeless, I try to bang a lot. I'm trying to bang every turn I get. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but some guy I, I can't remember the documentary, but uh, maybe somebody will remember. I bet he was like 23. Yeah, he was young and he pretended to be homeless. And had like a wire on and stuff, and they were trying to get him like do drugs and shit. Yeah, it was bugged out. 
It was bugged out. Oh, it's yeah. so depressing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a bitch though when it comes to like once my feet get like wet, oh, it's a wrap. Did you ever put, Did you ever put plastic bags on your socks? No, I did that. I just wore mad socks. No, you got to wear the plastic bag, dude, and then put it into the boot. So I had Timberlands, right? Yeah. And then I would put. I'm wearing UGG slippers, by the way. I have I have the same ones in black. They're, They're great. Fire. Yeah. Mad comfortable. Hell yeah. And pink socks. So I would put um. A regular sock, like a long sock. Then I would put like a winter sock that's like warm as shit. Uh, what are those? Thermal socks? Thermal socks. Thermal socks. Then I would put, um, I'd have snow pants. Well, I have long johns and then snow pants. There and then go. tuck the snow pants okay. into the boot. Okay. And then just tie that fucker. Fuck yeah. Yeah. But once that one piece of snow got in that boot. It was over. Over, son. Yeah. Over. It was bad. I. Oh, that's why you got to go with the plastic bag. My mom taught me that. She was just like, hold up, wait one second, and came back with two plastic bags. I was like, Mom, what? What are you doing? She was like, give me your feet. I was like, okay. Yeah. Fucking worked. I remember being young and that's nice. waiting by the... <laughs> I know you probably can't remember that now. No, no, no. Being that's, 30. Yeah, that's why I feel so goddamn old. <laughs> yeah, no. I was 15, 15 years ago, dog. <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah. But uh, I remember Fuck. being young and having to wait at the front door for my mom to put my shoes on. I'm like, come on! I know. I want to go in the snow. That was those were great times. What the snow? If I could, if you could go back and live a week of any age, what would it be? I think I would go like seven. No, 2006. Uh, yeah, but what age is that? T- 14? I don't know. You were born 92, right? Yeah. You're 14. Yeah. <laughs> Crush that It's alright I'm a little older than Like you. the summer Going into high school Yeah Cause so much is changing And everyone's like Oh we're gonna be In high school next year Like we better hang out Every day this summer I know And then me and my friends Are still all friends And you yeah, know. Like you still don't Live down the street from me Like yeah yeah. <laughs> me, yo, me and my friends When it was the time For yeah. every, for the majority of us To go to college Yeah It was such like An emotional thing And yeah. then we all just like we're still good friends. Yeah, but at that time you don't know though. No, you a don't. Lot, a lot of people go different ways in their life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So and then, sure. you know, the thing that was weird was when I was a kid, I do, I never thought that I would make friends after the friends that I made for some reason. Uh huh. Like when you get older, it's like it's weird to make friends when you're older. I would think. Yeah. Like it'd be like you're 30 and you made a new friend. It's weird. What are you trying to say? No, I'm just saying it's not weird. But when you grow up with <laughs> one group of friends, yeah, and they all leave. You're like, I got to start all over. I got no friends. You got no friends. Was that tough on you? Like when your friends went to college and you stayed home? Like I know you were doing YouTube and shit, but like, was it weird to like, you were like, like kind of the only one home? Uh, Cause there were a couple that were still here. I right? wasn't the only one home, but a majority of my friends were, uh, holy <laughs> fuck <laughs> this <laughs> snow. <laughs> Yo, oh, this is smoke. Yeah. Guys, you could barely see outside. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I you, wish I could turn these cameras you, you around. You know but. when Jon Snow is like going, like pushing off in the boat? Yeah. And the fucking White Walker King is just like, that's, Ma- that's what it looks he's like. He's making a blizzard with his hands. Yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. But uh, like, did you have some like, not FOMO, uh, but like. Yeah, I felt like, I felt like an idiot. It was one of the only times in my life that I felt like I wasn't sure what the fuck I was doing. Like I, I. I made the conscious decision to drop out of college. Yeah. And at the time I only did it because I was like, I, it, I just, I don't, it doesn't feel right for me. Yeah. And, and so I just did it cause I was just following my gut, but I didn't have a plan at all. But don't was, recommend that by the way. But what was like your day to day? Like while everyone was at school? Nothing. Really? But when I dropped out of college, I know it well cause I did the same thing, but right. But I, <laughs> when I dropped out of college, I wasn't working. I didn't do anything. Oh yeah. I couldn't tell you. I, I really don't know. I think back on that year all the time, and I'm like, yo, you don't want to be that again. But it's a very pivotal year for you, though. What do you mean? Mentally. Because you could have easily just been like, yo, I'm just not going to do shit. No, yeah. I Because that's how it happens. Like, people, it takes one year sometimes. Like, people will take a gap year from college, and then, like, you'll never see them in school again. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know what it was. I just, it was weird. But I, I wasn't working. And then, yeah. and then finally, you know, my parents were like, 
I'm not going to say they fucking hated me. Like they were like upset with me because I fucking, I wasn't doing anything. It's like, yo, you dropped out of college. Like, okay. Like if it's not for you, sure. But like, you have to do something with yeah, your life. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, and I just wasn't trying to do anything at the time. And I just didn't do shit. <laughs> Idiots. Fucking, it was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, God, I'm- <laughs> like if a kid, if a kid comes out to you for like advice and yeah. says, should I go to school or should I not? Yeah. What do you tell them? You have your career. Obviously you're you. Okay. The kid has no relationship to you. Yeah. Just a normal kid. Say you're, we're out at a fucking bar or something, and he asked you, like, yo, I don't know. Should I go to college or not? What do you tell him? Why is there a 17-year-old in a bar? You were 17. It was teen night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, teen night. Teen night was fire. We'll get into the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I would say yes until I figured out what kind of person this was. Because I don't think that going the quote-unquote entrepreneurial route is – the best for everybody. Yeah. You know, I think that I don't, I'm not a genius. I don't know how, what the world's going to do, but just from what I'm seeing, it kind of feels like school is losing its value every single day because there are so many ways to just become an entrepreneur and kind of create something from nothing with your fucking phone. Right. Like you can create an app, but then again, you would need to go to school for computer science or yeah. like, you know, coding you need- or whatever. But I also think that's something that I, I believe that coding is going to be like part of the common core of schooling. Oh like yeah. When you're, I'm pretty when you're sure kindergarten, it's, it's close. Not, not kindergarten, but like when you're in first grade to eighth grade during that time, you're going to take a lot of coding, bro. They code in kindergarten now. Yeah. Well, you know, isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah. I don't know how to code. I know like basic fucking whack ass code. Yo, it got, first of all, it got darker. I in can't here. even see across the street. Yeah, it now. got dark in here. Cause we legitimately can't see across the street. I wonder if anyone's texting me like, Hey, is everything okay? Uh, that's why I'm getting texts. They're like, yo, this is fucking crazy. Yo, this is the wildest weather I've ever seen in my life. I can't see across the street. I can't. We can't see across the street. There's a pole right outside my apartment. That's all I can see. Oh, my God. And very faintly a tree in the background. This is absurd. I know. I know. This is a vortex. It is a vortex. Uh, but yeah, I would tell any... I would encourage anyone who's in high school and is not sure just to try out... Co- go, I, to, go to school. I don't, I don't go to rec- school. I don't, re- yeah, I don't rec- recommend what I did because... I I didn't have a plan. If you have yeah. a plan, then sure, do that. But you also really got to be like sure, and you got to be like real with yourself. You got to have a real fucking work ethic too, because that you yeah. got to start working before everybody else, like and hard and longer than everyone else. And because like if you're in college though, like and like you say, you know, you have a family, like they, you have a home that you can come back to. You can kind of get away with four years with like not having money or like. You know, just living that college life, like people will take care of you while yeah. you're getting your degree or whatever. Like, when you drop out, no one's helping you. Yeah, and everyone thinks you're like, oh. like, yeah, an idiot. Yeah. I, I, a lot of my family members looked at me weird, like my extended family, like, what are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? And and even my friends or people who just heard, they'd be like, why he's not going to school? Like, you know what I mean? Because I was never that kid to be That's like. That's embarrassing, though. Oh, it was. It was. It was really embarrassing. Yeah, I know, I know that feeling. It, it's not fun to like hear people coming back. No one's ever like really said it to me, but I could just tell, you know, and I've heard of people being like confused. And I remember specifically there was a time where it was like five. We stayed out all night and it was like 6 a.m. And we were at this place and I was just, you know, it was right before I dropped out of college. And I was like telling a couple people. And I remember this one kid specifically was saying, which I'm still friends with him now. He's not one of my like close friends, but right. you know, whatever. Uh, he was just like, dude, I don't think like anything could be really done without that. Like you're at such a disadvantage or whatever. And I, I and I always honestly felt at that time, like I'm just going to make it work somehow, but not everyone has that mentality. So I, that's why I'm like, I would just tell everyone to go to school because not a lot of people have that mentality. Yeah. I would say you're, you're rare. Like me, like, like, uh, I'm, I, I consider myself like a very lucky guy. Like I, I like I, I caught a lot of breaks, <laughs> like even like with shit, like, just like off of just pure like of me being like a funny person right like i was lucky enough to get through not everybody could do that right you know so it's like i look especially now everyone's trying that's what i'm saying no one was trying to do it so it was like there was such a void yeah for like internet uh entertainment because now everyone does it it's like impossible well that's the thing though too because it's like if you reach a certain level people think like you have to stop competing yeah it's like yeah we're, we're competing just as hard as people that are trying to start you're right. Like, they're shit. You know what I mean? Like, you're competition, too. So, like, we have to be grind just as hard as anybody else as well. Yeah. You know? I also think that when you stay home, at least Bars. for me, 
when I st- <laughs> when I st- when I uh, dropped out of college and I'm I'm living at home, the only thing I'm thinking about is my future. Yeah, I'm not thinking about like the next three. I have three years before the real world. I'm like I'm in the real world now. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like when you're in college, it's something you can kind of put off because you're like I'm going through the motions here. I'm going to class. I'm doing my thing. So I don't really have to think about this for at least another two years at all. You know, because you have to take the remedial classes or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But not remedial class, but. Remedial class is like for like. <laughs> What's the word that I was looking for? The core, the core curriculum. <laughs> Why did I say for remedial classes? Remedial math is like you know, it's like didn't have such a good year last <laughs> year, so let me might have to hold you back a little bit. That's so funny that I said that. Um, That's probably yeah, why you're out I, of college too. I, <laughs> but I feel like uh, you you think about your future a lot more when you're when you yeah. dropped out because you're like fuck, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do for the next. For my life. Yeah. Uh, and everyone else is kind of like, well, I could, I could still wait and change my major or yeah. I could do this. I could do that. And then, you know, maybe I'll get my master's. So I'll just go. I'll, I'll be in school for the next six years. I don't have to worry about anything. Dude, I know people uh, at my age that are still in school. Yeah. Like, when is your life going to start? It's fucking crazy. That shit bugs me out. It's a lot. I could never do school ever, ever. You want to know why mainly? Because I was embarrassed. People would think I was stupid. And now you get to be on the basement yard and just... Prove it every day. Yes, true. They are, they were, in a sense, they were right. In a sense, they, they were right. right. But like, no, because I used Shout to- Shout out to my teacher who said, uh, I never mounted nothing. <laughs> Shout out to all the teachers who said I was dumb. You were right. But like, You're, no. Uh, you, uh, you got that. You had a good hunch. Make dumb work for you. Oh, look. I we say. got some more visibility here. Yeah. Yeah. It was completely black. It and was. We were, and we were trying not to react because- we don't want to have these random scares. Like, I can't see ah! your, I can't see your eyes, but I can see your head keep going. Like, all right, um, I'm like, yeah, do I have to? Yeah, like, it's like I'm, wait, to, I'm waiting for like the phone thing to go off. I hate inner, that. Inner, yeah. Have you ever been somewhere? The Amber and, Alert, and everyone's phone goes off. It's the worst. You're like, yo, there's a nuke. I was like, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. guys. It's over. Didn't we have one? A nuke? No, a fake like Apple alert. What? Didn't we have a weird Apple alert one time? Like a false Apple alert? I don't know. Damn. I thought it was like Amber Alerts, and then it was like, yo, someone's missing, or... No. No, 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 no. They can send out, like, yo, like, shit's gonna happen. Watch. I'm, I, I know you don't like me to, like, bring up my phone that much, but let me let me just look it up. You know what? While you look that up, I'm gonna get to the sponsors. Yeah, that's fine. So the first one, the first sponsor that we have today, our lovely sponsors, is Untuck It, Okay. Um, no guy looks good in a long, bulky dress shirt when it's untucked. You know, my mom used to get on me for that. It'd Having like, an untucked shirt? Yeah, like on Easter, because I didn't like the look. I felt like it looked like an old dad or something. My my mom hated that. Yeah, but so I like the untucked look. Yeah. Now, untuck it is a shirt dedicated to making the button down, or in other types of shirts untuckable another thing is too is like i'm a shorter guy yeah so i i would need regular shirts look too long on me you know what i mean yeah that's why right like you know yeah uh they're not too long not too short uh clean casual get them right at the office mm. okay i i wore one the other day i was i went to like a dinner or a restaurant or something and i was wearing them and i, I like them they're re- i don't like tucking my shirt I, i'll tuck my shirt very rarely like a suit, you gotta tuck. I mean, you gotta tuck yeah, your yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. th- I tucked my turtleneck in. Well, whoa, you have to tuck in the turtle. You gotta tuck the turtle. Well, sometimes you gotta tuck the turtle. But I am a bigger fan of untucking shirts. No, absolutely. If <laughs> Un- if if I never had to tuck anything again in my life, I'd be one hundred percent happy. Right. We don't know if that's gonna happen, but we'll move forward. <laughs> uh, with more than fifty fit combinations, untuck it shirts look great on tall, short, slim, and athletic guys of all ages. Ages. <laughs> Of all ages. Uh, go to untuckit.com or visit one of Untuckit's 50 stores across the U.S. and Canada. I had no idea that they had stores. I would clear this place out. I had no idea. I have a lot of Untuckit stuff. A lot. You got to show me. I have a, a ton. You got to show me some. There's That box is actually filled with two shirts. There's two shots in there. Two shots. Two shirts. What's going on? Ajas and shots. It's, it's, you it's know. the snow. Yeah, it's, it's a snow. Um, use the promo code BASEMENT for 20% off your first purchase. 20%. Now we're talking. Yeah. Um, if you want the perfect fitting shirt, regardless of your shape and size, try the original untucked shirt. And remember, use the promo code BASEMENT for 20% off your first 
purchase. Okay, we're on tucking the shirts. On tuck them. And it's not going to be long and weird looking. It's going to be nice and fit. Yeah. All right. Untuck it. By the way, it's spelled untuckit.com. U N T U C K I T dot com. Promo code is basement. 20% off your first purchase. Okay. Next up, we have Quip, which is the electric toothbrush. I know you know I'm a big fan of the Quip. Big Quip guy. Big Quip guy. You I got want- the veto on the Quip now. You know who's joining the Quip? You're joining the Quip? I'm joining the Quip team. Hell yeah. Yo, you can put them on the on the mirror. I don't have that. Dude, I'm, like, so, uh, dude I'm sold on it. You don't got to sell me. Yeah. I'm a psycho. I put my toothbrush in the cabinet and shut it because... There's nothing wrong with that. You don't, want, just, you don't want shit to hit That's hit what it. I mean. I don't want, you know. Yeah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a new electric toothbrush that I just feel like... I mean, there's a bunch of stats here, but I'm just going to explain it to you in my words because I just love the thing. It's a, There's a two-minute timer on it. It beat it like Five. stops. It pulsate, pulse, 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 pulses, pulsates, pulsates. Yeah, uh, it pulsates like every thirty seconds to let you know like to switch sides and like you know what I mean. And then it just shuts off when it's d- when you're done. So you're like, okay, you don't want to go crazy brushing your teeth for ten minutes and just you know destroy your gums. Yeah, you don't or mess up your enamel. Your you don't enamel do that too. You know what I mean. So uh, yeah, two minutes. That's all you need. De- dentist recommended. Boom, bang, bada boom, bing bong, and then you're done. Right? That's a lot of sound effects. Listen, that sounds great. For all ages. For all ages. Um, But uh, another thing that's great about them is that you basically get a new toothbrush every three months, I believe. Yes, every three months for just $5, they will send you brush heads, um, brand new ones, just $5 a month, every three months. So it's like every three months you get a new toothbrush that you just pop on, you pop the other one off, then you put the new one on, and then you brush with that stuff and you're great. Um, You're good to go. Um, but yeah, Quip, uh, it starts at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash basement right now, you get your first refill pack for, for free. Um, that's your first refill, refill pack for, for free. A lot of Fs. It's all right. Uh, at getquip.com slash basement spelled G E T Q U I P.com slash basement. Brush your teeth in a better way. I'm not good at slogans. It's but, all right. But get Quip. All right. I'm gonna drop it. I am. Yep, do I it. Am gonna drop do it. it. Do it. Yeah, but That's I looked. Fine. I looked it up. There was a fake missile alert. And you know what it said? Remember, it was in Hawaii. No. Oh yeah. This is what it said. Yo, if I lived in Hawaii, <clears throat> bad time. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. That happened. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good on that son. I'm, I'm not. No, 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 no. We no. saw how we reacted to that fucking blue light. Can you oh imagine? I got an update. It's like, yo, there's a missile coming right for you. I'm like, yo, I'm crying immediately. I'm praying to God. I'm just like, yo, just forgive me for like anything I've ever done, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, save me. I would just be like, I'd have to just, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably start running. Yeah. Yeah, probably. But I wouldn't even know where to run. Like, I don't know where to, where's west, north, you, or whatever. No, of course. I I have such a horrible sense of direction. I have, dude. I'm so jealous of guys that are just like, yeah. Uh, you want to head south on what? I'm like, south. This guy knows south. Where's south? Like, I know. Like, staring at a flat map, south is yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Or those but guys- if I'm looking this way, I don't know what fucking direction this is. I like when the guys look at the direction too to be like. That's northwest over there. So it's got to be. So we got southeast. All right, you're headed southeast, right? All right, you go down maybe about 0. 0.7, 0. 0.8 miles. Then you're gonna take a you're gonna take a left, and then when you get there, you're gonna come around maybe about another quarter mile down. Then from there, you're gonna make a right. All right, you be good. All right, all right, I'll talk. Yeah, I'm like I don't know anything. Can I'm you just like, give no. me the address? I put it in my GPS. Thank God for GPS. My dad's one of those people too, who just knows where north is. How the fuck do people read maps? Back in the day, where it's like, hold on, let's find out where we are. We got, we're here, gotta get here. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, there's 5,000 roads that lead there. I know, and they're all like different colors. Like, what I can I barely read my GPS. It's yeah. like, wait, there's three different ones? This one has a toll? Yeah. Like, I was like, this looks like my grandma's leg. Yeah. I, like, I can't read this fucking thing. Varicose veins. veins. Exactly. All over the place. That's exactly it's, what it looks like. It's, it's what it looks An like. An old woman's foot. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's foot. My mom's got crazy veins. Don't you dare speak about her like that. I'm not. Listen, I'm not saying anything about my mom. She doesn't do drugs, but if she wanted to bang heroin, it'd be very easy. Her veins are just. Ve- She's basically see through on her feet. I wanted you to look like your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's one of my favorite moments we've ever had on here. 
What, my mom telling yeah. me that she wanted me to look like my dad? Next year, I'm going to do, uh, for New Year's, it's, I mean, it's, uh, I want, I'm going to do a best of. What do you mean? Like a best of the basement yard. Good luck with that. And cut, and cut that all up. That's a lot. Yeah, it, it'll be a Are lot. you going to put that in there? What? You're going to put that That's in there? That's 100% going in there. <laughs> I think that'd be cool for like next year. Something to look forward to. Something to look forward to. You know what you should also look forward to? What? Our Patreon. That was a smooth transition. Yes. Our Patreon. If you want to head to our Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard, uh, support the show. There's some extra content on there and extra episodes of the basement yard. Absolutely. Every single month. And you get every episode a week in advance. Hell yeah. And yeah. you also, oh, you ever wanted to ask us a question? But like, you know, we're busy guys. Sometimes we can't get to all our DMs. Guess what? You can have a head start. You could submit questions. Boom. And we'll answer them. Bang. Guess what? Bow. If you're one of the higher tiers, Hati. the highest tier there is, Sang. we'll send you a shout out. Oh, a personalized video shout out. Personalized yeah. video. We're not just going to be like, hey, insert name here. It's me and Joe. You know? No, we're going to talk about you. We're going to find your family. We're going to... Whoa. It's too much? See, you can't say that dress like that because people are going to believe you. Because yeah, you sure. walked in here looking like men in black. I didn't know if you were going to try and do the like, and then I would forget everything. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. But go to patreon.com slash basement yard. Come uh, help us out. Uh, if we do reach 1,500 patrons, I get a raise. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so if you guys want to help me get that raise, time is now. Oh, let's do it. Yo, someone actually created a petition once that said, let's get Danny a raise. And mad people signed it. There, if the, the first goal was 100. I think like 1,000 people signed it. That's ridiculous. I don't think it's ridiculous at all. I, I bet you don't, I, turtleneck. Sorry. You said you wouldn't say that. <laughs> you promised in front of the world. Do you think? Do you think what, by the time you're 30, there will be like a new social media platform that's like huge? Yeah, like YouTube, like something like on the like. Oh, not like, a YouTube level. But like, is is YouTube like the Google of like, like what is it? Video sharing, <laughs> or is it Instagram? Uh, YouTube. YouTube. YouTube is Google. I saw this um this like picture on Instagram the other day that was showing the engagement on Instagram is ten times more than Facebook, like fifty times more than Pinterest. Which what the fuck is Pinterest? I have no idea. I think it's an app for girls. Please don't get mad at me, but they like pin stuff like, Oh, this is cute and like well I'll pin that. And then it's like, ooh, look at this recipe, I'll pin that. And then it's like, ooh, look at these fucking boots. I'll pin those. That's what they do. Like, I, my sister has Pinterest. See? Knew it. And, like, whenever she's on it, she's looking at, like, shelves and shit. Yeah. I'm like, what the <clears throat> fuck is this? What is this thing? It's like, basically, you go where, like, shit you want. And you can't afford. And you, like, put it on a page. And then people go to your page. And they're like, I want that in my house. And then everyone's like, oh, my God, this is a bunch of stuff that we're never going to buy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. What is yeah, the point of yeah. that? Um, There's like wedding dresses. My sister loves looking at wedding dresses. I'm like, you've been married a fucking year. Like, what are you, what are you looking at dresses for? You, you plan on getting divorced and married again? How many fucking weddings but, are you getting? But you want to know what that is? That's like our fantasy, like football, probably to them. No, I'm getting points of money out of this thing. That's true. That's true. Can you make money on Pinterest? I guess you could maybe sell stuff. I don't. I don't know Pinterest. I don't know. Tumblr. Pinterest. I never got either. Tum uh, Tumblr back in the day was just like yeah, I just keep resharing pictures, and it was just I never got Tumblr. Uh, um, Snapchat I gave up on. Once they did that update, it was a wrap. Yeah, yeah, it was just too. It was a rapidy rap. I couldn't find anything. Yeah, I, I don't know where like my story close friend. I don't know who my close friends are. Yeah, oh, well, you, how about that update they put? It was like, oh, here's a map. Yeah, you know that random person you know from Missouri. Here's exactly where they are. I'm like, I don't want to know. No, I don't like that at all. Now Fuck I'm like an shit. accessory. If they die, get murdered, I'm a I'm a suspect. Yeah, because because I'm on your friends list. Yeah, I don't care that you're in fucking no. Iowa. No. I don't care. And then it's like a weird cartoon picture of you. Like, I don't want to see that. See, I never got into that either. See, I love that. What's that called? Mi Mioji. Mi Mioji. Miyagi. 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 So it's nice. <laughs> yeah. A little, little racism. No, never heard not. anybody. No, I actually said a word. What'd you say? I didn't say a word. Okay. I tried to save myself. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that vine you did 
about Asian people was one of the funniest things I saw. Like before, I didn't before I knew who you were. Right. It was so funny. But dude. it it is true. Yeah. It's a very dude. L- fuck you. It's funny. It's, a, uh, yeah. it's it's funny. It's a very loud language. So when they speak English, it's very pleasant. And it'll be like, oh, like, uh, what do you want to eat? And, yeah. and then uh, you tell them what you eat, and then they t- immediately turn around and scream at somebody in Chinese. China-ha! Himahasia! I'm like, oh, my God. It was like, I just want chicken and broccoli. It's like, don't yell at the guy. Yeah, I'm like, God. And this one guy in a fucking, the walk's fucking, Yo, this fucking big. And the guy's so good at just fucking flipping all the shit. Yo, the dudes who cook at Chinese uh, restaurants, strongest men alive. Oh, my God. Their this wrist pot strength- is fucking huge. Huge. It's huge. How are you flipping that much chicken in this fucking 60 pound pot? And then they just get that thing of like clear liquid. I don't know if it's water or not. And it's like, scars. And, and they shoot it from up here. The, <laughs> or it starts here. And it's like, whoa. Another thing that's very cool hibachi. Oh, and I, I've never been. Whoa, we're going. Okay. We're going. I've never been, yeah. You wanted to take me somewhere for my birthday? We'll go to hibachi. Hibachi. And they're going to make that, like, onion thing where it shoots fire out of it or uh, whatever? Onion volcano? Yeah, they'll do it. <laughs> they're going to fucking throw shit in your mouth? Oh, my God. I'm not into that. Oh, throw it in my, throw it in my face. You don't mind that? No. I'm not good at catching things in my mouth. If I, if I was better, I'd be like, yo, fucking fire that thing. Yo, you know who's... I'm just like... Ugh. Some people are really good at that. Yo, throw that almond. And you're like, what? From anywhere. Like, whoa, I'm afraid I'm getting hit in the teeth. That's what I'm afraid of, too. And I'm afraid of it getting going right down my throat. <laughs> you got you to, gotta, like, block it with your tongue, there, buddy. Come on. I, come on, dude. I can barely read. That's true. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we'll definitely do hibachi. Those guys with the fucking flipping and shit. Sa, 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 sa. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, when, they, when they're... Like, I've seen movies of, like... I wonder, are there any white hibachi chefs? <laughs> is it like too much though? Like I'm wondering, is there any white hibachi? It's like, what's up, I'm Steve? And you're like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, guy. She's like, nah, no. We're good. We're good. All right. I don't trust you. I don't trust this white guy anymore. <laughs> um, do they ever like overdo it? And eventually you sit there and you're like, all right, just fucking cook the chicken. Yeah, sometimes. And they're like, just like, oh, oh. It's like, dude, it's been two hours. <laughs> Enough with the show. Stop throwing shrimp at my girlfriend's face and give me a fucking plate now. Get out of here. All right? I don't want to see you spin this goddamn spatula again. I've seen it. Just, just like a whole 10 pounds of rice in the corner that he just keeps flipping. Yeah, yeah, just leaving. Like, stop, stop, stop. I remember one dude had a spatula on another spatula and was talking to us and just going like this. And it was spinning. And I was like... Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Cook some food. In the <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, let's get to this yeah, food. Yeah, I can spin a basketball on my finger. Right. All right? I can do that too. But sooner or later, we're going to want to play. We're going to have to shoot this ball. Yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> what are we doing? You know I can't do that? You can't spin a basketball? I've played basketball my entire life. Cannot spin a ball on my finger. My brother is really good at it. Like, he could put it on there. And, like, he could put it on your finger. Like he oh, like, like transfer it? Yeah, like, like, give me your finger. And I'm just like, whoa. Remember that, that guy, his whole fucking brand was like spinning like five basketballs at once? What happened to that guy? Like, he would spin one on a pen and like go like this. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that he guy. used to do like cool tricks with it. It was like he would start. He, I don't know how he got all of them to spin. This this had to be a three-man job. Yeah. But he was like down. He was like doing like a pistol squat. And he's got one on his toe and then his knee and his finger and then his fucking nose. And he's just like. Yeah. Would you? <laughs> it's like Jesus, dude. Would you ever like go see the Harlem Globetrotters? Nah, it's for kids. I, no, but like they don't play basketball. It's just like them like throwing like. It's fake like yo, let's of water. let's let everyone in this place touch the ball before we dunk it. It's like the circus, yeah. Basically, basically what it is. Yeah. Speaking of the circus, if a clown sprayed you with water, would you be okay with that? I'm firing on him. Yeah, son. Like it's on site. I'm setting it on that fucking clown. First of yeah. all, fuck clowns. Second of all, you want to get you don't me know wet. me. Yeah. Just because I came in here and I got a smile on my face, don't spray me. Not not my grill. Not my shit. You want to spray my shirt? That's one thing. You think I'm going to go home and be like, I let some clown spray me in the face? I have jizz on my own chest. Yeah. So fuck that clown. Yeah. I. Uh... What's the farthest you've ever gone up? You fucking copped out. What? You copped out. Where's the farthest you ever shot on on yourself? We're all we're at the beginning of this. I just, of the need, I just want you. Now. I just want you to answer the question. I don't know. I don't keep a ruler and do distances like it's a long jump above your belly button. Yeah. How far? Yeah. Of course. Oh, all right. So yeah, you're in the chest area too. But anyway, fuck that clown. Yeah. I don't care for him. All right. 
Because you want to know what you do on here sometimes? You dodge answers. I don't dodge shit. So sometimes I got to come back for you. No, come back for me. I had that. Come back for me. I'm waiting. What's that thing you always say? She got some cum on her back, I think. What's that from? Oh, uh, Chris Pratt. Oh, uh, uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had cum on her back in the video, I think. <laughs> that was such a good line. Yo, outtakes? Some of my favorite things. Don't you remember when movies had outtakes? Yeah. Even Toy Story had fake outtakes, remember? Amazing. They were great. No, I, or was it Monsters, Inc.? No, it was both, I think. Monsters, Inc., fake ones. Yeah. Amazing idea. Outtakes are great. Rush the Hour, best. great outtakes. Oh, my. They were, those are iconic outtakes. <laughs> Show me your ass. <laughs> Y'all some gay ass cops. <laughs> Show me your ass. Y'all some gay ass cops. <laughs> I miss outtakes so much. Outtakes dude. were great, like bloopers and shit. Yo, if you go on YouTube, like, I love Seinfeld. Like, I'm a big Seinfeld guy. Not only is that show, like, long as shit, there's like 13 seasons or something, yeah. and there's like 30 episodes in every season. You go on YouTube, there's hours of outtakes. And it's all there. It's probably better. Like, some, sometimes it's those so are be- like better than the show. Oh, my God. And the office outtakes? They're fantastic. They're unbelievable. And Toby, like, he's like, can you write the name of that place? And he writes, fuck you on it. Steve <laughs> Carell starts fucking cracking up. Yeah. He's going to have a new show, apparently. Who? Steve Carell on Netflix. He's the Silver Fox now. He is. This guy's got white hair. Do you think he's hot? Hell yeah. Uh, we, now. Yeah. Season one of Office, not hot. Dude, what was going on? His hair was all fucked up. All fucked up. Yeah. Then he probably got plugged up. Would you ever get hair plugs? Yeah. You would? Probably. So say you say you went bald, bald. God forbid. Yeah. Would you immediately look into like getting hair plugs? <sighs> if I started to go and I was like, well, if you yeah, knew, I would look into stuff. You you would? Yeah. See, that's a, see that, that takes a lot to admit, though. That I would do it? Yeah. Yeah. I feel oh, like, I, I feel I feel like some people will have like I have a couple of friends who like they're going, and is it okay to ask somebody if they're going bald or is it dickish? So one of my friends, <laughs> I was looking at his head and I was like, eh, you're getting a little thin, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know. So you can't say it to people, right? Is I, it, is that I, off limits? I think it is. Yeah. But yeah, it's weird it because like my friends would be more comfortable with being like, "Yo, let me let me how big's your dick?" Or like, "Yeah, let me you know what I'm yeah. saying." It should be like, "Yo, you could ask me about my dick, but don't ask me about my receding hairline." Right. But not yeah. even the receding hairline. Like I'm talking about like fucked up, like top of the head like <sighs> getting thin patch. If I get a patch in the top of my head, I'm shaving my head. Yeah. I can't I can't do that. I go and you see guys in like in the barber chair getting a haircut and there's just fucking bald right here. What are we doing? What are we doing? It's a waste of thirty bucks, man. Yeah. Get a fucking better haircut. Just yeah. cut it off. So it is off limits to ask your friends. I think so. It's kinda of like asking like how like what how much money they make. That's off limits, right? I don't care. I don't care either. You know, about money or anything like that. Oh, I like, care about money. I won't, no, I mean, like, I don't care about if, if someone asks me that, I tell them. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not, like, afraid to say that. No. Like, I don't know why that's offensive to people. No, I think some people just don't like saying it. I don't it. like saying it on a large scale. Like, no. if I'm at a bar and, like, someone asks me in front of six people, like, I'm not going to say. Of course. But if it's just me and you talking, like, I don't mind telling you. Yeah. To anybody. Yeah. If it's one person, I don't mind saying it. But to a group, I won't. Just because then I think I come off as, like, a pretentious like asshole yeah well you got that covered already but like you know what i'm saying uh <laughs> i don't want anyone to know is what i'm trying to say i hear i hear you, you know? i hear you uh but i'm just like it's <laughs> weird like i guess that's off limits i guess balding's off limits is it off limits to ask people who they voted for still oh remember white, how bad white people yeah remember how bad that was like 10 years ago dude white people are like very secretive i know i know it's it's like that Dave Chappelle skit, you know. He says yeah, like, "So true." Like, I'm trying to tell you about how I fuck my wife in the ass, and you're asking me all these personal questions about who I voted for. <laughs> it's true, though. I love how people call you out for like white guilt. Me? Yeah. You just be like, "Oh, Joe, it's like, uh, you don't have to make fun of white people all the time." I'm like, "Who else is gonna make fun of?" Yeah, like, why? It's fun. Yeah. I love making fun of white people. Okay. My family gets not they don't get upset at me, but they're always just like, like people have commented, been like, "You know, you're white, right?" Duh. Thanks. <laughs> you crushed it. Yeah, I'm fuck. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. But when people are like, uh, 
like white, like white guilt. Like I, it's not about white Listen, guilt. It's just a funny. People it's gotta, a funny thing to say. People gotta understand. White people do white people white stuff. White people shit. All right. White and pe- there's de- there's listen. There's degrees of white. Let me ask. Let me ask you this. Like Long Island, white is different than here. White. Right. Let me ask you this. You had to pick a race, okay? And I'm gonna give you a scenario. You guess the race. Okay. You ready? You ready? <laughs> this is gonna. <laughs> Here we go. Possibly be edited out. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. No, okay, I'm just go, gonna go. show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use one example. Okay. Blank people throw a birthday party for their dog. <laughs> yeah, white people. Uh, come on. Yeah, that's and, what white people do. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I do that shit hard. Hell yeah. We blow out candles for my dog. That's what I'm saying. That Who's dog, doing that? That dog is like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know, that's another thing too. I never noticed. Like, uh, two things. Dogs in movies, they don't know they're in movies. <laughs> Neither do babies. That's what I'm saying, too. It's like, if you're a baby in a movie, you have no idea you were in a movie. Do you think about how confusing it is for them? Like, this guy's kissing me. I don't really know him. Like, yeah. where are my parents? That's weird. You know? Like, I, I was raised by those two people standing behind that camera, and this man's kissing me on my forehead and telling me, and he's calling me Ben. Yeah. My name's Charlie. Yeah. Why am I on the back of a motorcycle right now? Wait, who's on the back of a motorcycle? I don't know. It was like maybe like a movie. No like... one's putting a baby back on the back of a motorcycle. You never know. Jesus, I hope they don't let you have kids. I would never ride a motorcycle in my life, yeah, first either. of all. Those, those are terrifying. Second of all, if I ever have a baby, it is going to be the most sheltered baby of all time. Probably. I will not let my baby be touched by anything. You are going to be so hilarious. You think you're a hypochondriac now. Oh, my God. When you have a baby, it's going to cough. You'll be like, our baby's dying. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. If the baby just goes, meh, I'd be like, it's not, it's not normal. Yeah, what's I going on? It. He's I screaming. Googled this. He's screaming. Why is the baby crying? Yeah. Why is it crying? And they're like, sir, this is a baby. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Why is it crying? Because it's a baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, w- I just wanted to know. All right. I was just checking, you know, because he was crying. I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> because he was definitely. <laughs> yeah, man. You guys have a good night. All right. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Just always bounce with the kid or whatever. So He's throwing up on your back and you're like, it's that's cool. The, that's the weirdest thing. It's like. We're going to have to do that one day. We're just going to have babies where we're just like, yeah, I know. Like, he's just like. You're trying to, you know? you're trying to hold a normal conversation. See the dolphins? Yeah. Dolphins are on they, fire. They got to get rid of Tannehill, though. Yeah. I mean, like, come on. Come on. Right, buddy. Right, buddy. How are we not going to play Kenyon Drake? It doesn't make any sense. This guy performs. You give him, you give him opportunities, every and time. he performs. Every time. Every time. I don't understand this. Listen. Listen, you know what I mean? It's unbelievable. Exactly. The New York just won Gase? Please. For what? And what would the offense, offense was what terrible. terrible. What draft pick do they even have? I don't even know. I don't, it's, it's unbelievable. It's right? unbelievable. How about Belichick? Dude? Oh, my God. This guy's still coaching. I know. I wish we'd come over here. Like, we're going to have to do that. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking crazy. I don't I know. I just like that they have contraptions that you can throw babies in, and they become, like, normal people. Like they have those things where they can walk. They're like, "Hello." Yeah, it's like- they look like little genius babies. <laughs> you just put them in this thing, and all of a sudden, it's like, "Whoa, they have legs." Yeah, <laughs> and then I think they're like that too. They're like, "Oh shit!" I oh can- shit! Walking is easy. I can walk in this bitch. <laughs> just have them fucking. Just, there's like wheels on it. And they're sliding. Yeah, it's like a little saucer baby just walking around. That thing, that shit is cool. Yeah, and then they have the ones like those. Uh, my buddy just had a baby. I always see his baby in it. Like those things that move back and forth. Like they they lay them in those little cribs and they have a button and they like move them. Oh, yeah, they yeah. They sway them back and forth. Who would have thought that swaying back and forth would make you so happy as a kid? I guess. I'm not really big on swaying now. Cutest thing is a baby smiling. Yeah. And especially when you make it smile. <sighs> it's awesome. When I make someone's baby smile, there's just something that goes off in the back of my head like... This kid likes me more than his fucking parents. Yeah. <laughs> you're like a cocky fucking asshole. Whenever you make the baby smile, you're like, I can have kids. This is so easy. That's why when I always look at babies, I'm like, I'm going to be in your subconscious forever. Ever. You're going to remember this fucking yeah. night. Because like, when you were a baby, you have very vague memories of like people. Yeah, of course. And you're like, I'm going to be one of those yeah. guys. You ever have a dream and you have a friend in the dream? He's like your best friend. Never seen him before in your life. No. No? 
No, I also heard that you you have seen everyone that appears in your dreams, but I don't know how true that is. It's true. It's in your subconscious. So how the fuck do you not know someone who's in your best friend in your dream? Because if I see somebody walking down the street, oh. he could be potentially my best friend in a dream. All right. And I'm just like, yo, what's up? Fucking Tyler. Tyler. Never met him before. You know? I believe your mind with that. The subconscious is very scary. Yeah. You know? Like, people say, like, oh, subconsciously I did this, but, but, like, I did so much reading up on the subconscious that it's fucking scary. I don't even know if I want, to, want you to regurgitate this. No, 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 I won't. Well, it, it will save that for a different show, but, yeah. you know. Another I thing I wanted to add, though, before we get off of babies. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. That was a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a couple of questionable lines the last couple of times. <laughs> do you remember that one episode where I said something mad weird about kids? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Remember how we said we sit in the colored section last time? <laughs> We're talking about medieval, medieval times. times. They, give you, they give you you sit in the colored section. It was it 1954? <laughs> it's like, yo, take it easy, Danny. It's like, no, I mean the blue knight. I had in no the blue idea. section. I had no idea that I was like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God, yeah, yeah. that is funny. Oh my god. But yo, a baby mm-hmm. when it grabs your hand. I know. When a finger when it just goes with its little hand and it just grabs it. You're just like, oh my god! I just want to hold this baby. I know. I held my cousin's baby not to, like uh, Christmas. I was like holding on to it, and I was just like bouncing a little bit, and I'm grabbing the back of its head, and I'm like, I can feel its brain. I know. You know. And they have a little soft thing right here. God. I'm like, why is why is your brain not born hard? I mean, your skull. Why do you have a soft spot? You got to get out of the vagina. You can't just like actually pull. When your when your baby is born, from what I've heard, uh, from what you saw, from what I saw on that video, the head is a little misshaped because it's still like kind of, you know, a ba- it's kind of like when you take a cake out of the oven, you got to let it sit because it's got to set and like get hard a little bit. Is that true about a cake? Probably not. I've never made a cake but, you in my know, life. Some some food. I'm assuming it would. It's done that. Oh, I but didn't like, know, let's I say cinnamon buns, right? Right. Okay. Now you're speaking my language. Right now, yeah. 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 Once you add that little white jizzy sauce, I know you're. Oh in. my gosh. You pull them out of the oven. Yeah. They're soft as shit. Mm-hmm. So you're like, let me just let these, whatever. And then they have they get like a little crusty and yeah. a little hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's kind of like what a baby's head. This is all hearsay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The, I don't know the real answer to any of this. You know, it's like. Uh, I feel like I feel like once you have a baby, I feel like people that say like they're ready to have babies, no one's ever really ready to have a baby. I think everyone's just like kind of, they don't fucking know. Yeah, they're like, I'm ready to have a kid. I'm like, yeah, okay, let's have this fucking kid. Let's see how fucking ready you are. Then you have it. And then you're like, holy shit. And then it poops every eight seconds. I know. Dude, my Tamagotchi died. I'm really not ready to have a child. If if your Tamagotchi dies, is it done forever? <laughs> I, I don't know. I threw it out because I just like... Yeah, you were spending a lot of weird time with that. I was It was just that I kept it right there and it would beep when it shit. So I, I would just go clear it. Yeah, you, were, you were spending... like It would go off and you would leave conversations. I go, loved it! <laughs> <laughs> no, but it would beep. So I would have conversations. <laughs> what do you like, say? Like we'd be having conversations. Be like, yeah, like maybe we should like do this. And you'd just be like... And you'd be like, hold up one second. My gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I'm dedicated. He went pee pee poo poo, so I gotta clean it up. Yeah, but you know, or sometimes he'd shit and go to bed, and then once he goes to bed, you can't clear it, so there's just shit in his room all night. Yeah. Do you shit before you go to bed? I shit whenever I have to go. It's not like like it's not like part. Of, it's a part of my morning routine. I don't have shit. a routine. No, you don't have a morning shit routine. No, dude. Every I, morning, like clockwork, I take a, the best best dumps, the best poops, best poops, poops. Well, I don't eat late at night anymore, so I don't really poop. In the morning That's weird I think I poop once a day I think you're supposed to poop like twice a day Well at least once a day Yeah You know But yeah. No you poop more than that I've seen you You poop a lot <laughs> You poop before we got on the show Yeah that was the one time I'm not gonna poop later Yeah you will You're gonna eat dinner and poop man I, I, I don't know I used to be just like I used to think My body used to work that I would eat a meal Right? It would be here. Yeah. Then the next time I ate, it would push this one out and I'd shit as soon as I ate. And then this one would take its place. And then the next time I ate, I would shit immediately. Mm. And it was just this whole constant eating and just shitting a, thing. Just a goddamn line of poop. I used to be nervous about like, yo, what if I go out on a date with a girl and we probably go to a restaurant? I, you probably had IBS. 
So uh, yeah, probably. I I think maybe it was, I don't know. It could be stress, maybe. I don't know. I think there was like weird things that was going on with me that like kind of corrected themselves. Like when I was younger, if you go back, I mean, you can't see them anymore. But when I was when my old videos, I was so nasal. I'm nasal now because I'm congested. But like yeah. I was so nasal. I'm nasal. And I used myself. to have like. I used to get sore throats all the time because my tonsils were huge, but yeah. I never got them removed. I've never had a problem since. Yeah. And like my voice is way different now. Did you get your wisdom teeth taken out? No. I never got mine. Do, do some people not get them? It, it, it depends on how they grow in. Some people just grow, they grow in regularly, but for, but not, I'm not, I don't know for the most part, but the reason why you get them out is because they're angled and they, oh, they, they like impact your teeth. Yeah. So they, then they get, they get rid of them. Is there like an age where you're in the clear or can this happen at any time? <laughs> I don't know. Cause I've seen those fucking things. I don't want to be like that. No. I feel like like if I was like all like doped up, I would be say saying, I'd be like, yo, keep rich. anyone who loves me away from me because yeah. I'm gonna say some. Stuff. I'm gonna hire somebody on Craigslist to take me to get my wisdom. Yeah, I don't. I yeah. You know, I can't be doing that. Be like, I just on my chest once. <laughs> it wasn't my chest. It was my chin. It was my it was my entire face. I lied on the show. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. That is that is. That Can is. you imagine you accidentally jizzed on your own face? First I mean, of all, the I'd, sheer, be, I'd be more proud the sheer, if I could get up there. The sheer velocity wow. of ejaculation. And you're beating gravity at that point, too. You're fighting against gravity up and you're going down. It's really special. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. <sighs> I love that you said it was special and then explain. Oh, <laughs> I just said in a way. In a way. In a way that probably I'll never explain. In a way. You know? Are you going to when you turn 30, are you going to have a like a big birthday party, you think? I don't fuck it. Probably. Probably. But like my birthday's coming up. I know, you're uh, next. in February, but like I I don't care to do anything. Maybe if I make a ton of money, we'll rent out Spin. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fire. Or maybe someone at Spin watches the podcast. Can you? Read, I just do that for free. That'd be fun. It's so expensive. Or like a discounted price. Hit us up. At Spin. Because I looked it up. Last year I tried to do it for my birthday. At the private room, they have like two tables and then like a, a bar, open bar. Yeah. And it fits like a good amount of people, but it's like $1,500 an hour. Wow. Yeah, It'd be a short, short, short birthday party. Yeah. Or, like, gotta, or, or invite like 70 people It's like alright yeah You guys want to come to my birthday It's going to be a half an hour long <laughs> <laughs> It's fire Don't get me I suck at Pong I'm pretty good Yeah see I, I wouldn't go surely Because I'd be embarrassed No I, you'd go I'd be Yeah I'd go I'd pay to lose Yeah But I wouldn't be a fan of that No I'd want to rent it out And just like do my own thing But when, I don't know. When's your birthday again? February 25th 25th What do people do If they're born on leap years? Do don't you, age. They don't age. No, no, no. Like, like what does their <laughs> ID say? February 29th. No, I think you have to pick a day legally. I don't know. You probably have a choice of the 28th would you, would or you, the 1st. What would you do? Ooh, the 1st. Why? Because you probably, most people get paid on the 1st of the month. So it would be your birthday and you get paid. Not bad. Not bad ideology there. Not bad. Not bad. But it's I mean, also like a round number, like 28. Like, fuck that. I'd rather be the one. Adrian Peterson's 28. That's true. It's one of the greatest running backs of all time. Stephen Curry's 30. Yeah. You know me and Kid Cudi have the same birthday. Also me and Dick Cheney. But, uh... Oh, Dick Cheney? Yeah, Dick Cheney, yeah. Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq War. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any famous really people that has line. your birthday? Uh, Yeah. Uh, Ric Flair. <laughs> Can't beat that. Woo! You can't beat that. That's yeah, fire. fire. Yeah, yeah that's I know. Fire. That's fire. Also, I'm a Pisces, so like George Washington, also a Pisces. Just saying. Yeah, just like no, first no, president. Talk about probably me. not a good guy, to be honest with you. No, had wooden teeth too. Definitely uh, owned some people, raped some people, pillaged a yeah. ton of villages. Yeah, but and, it was uh, normal, as they say. You know, and he wore a wig. Necks. Yo, how about white dudes in the back in the day just wearing wigs, powdered wigs, and like makeup? Talk, talk about Metro. Talk about Metro. Yeah. yeah. Metro. Riding horses. Can you imagine how, like, can you imagine those people, right? <laughs> the people who wrote the Constitution. Can you imagine they just walked through the streets of New York now? Ever be like, yeah, nice fucking wig, that guy. <laughs> you fucking dork. Nice hat. You fucking corny. <laughs> Yo, your pants is trash, kid. 
Well, you got a buckle on your shoe. Look at that. Look at that fucking buckle on your shoe, you fucking dork. What is that, a fucking top hat? <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> One, two, buckle my shoe. Why would shoes have buckles? Yo, the pilgrims were big buckle people. I don't know. The buckle here, buckle there. Buckle, buckle on the there. hat. Where's the buckle? Why do I got to secure this thing to my head? Just put Just it on your head. Put it on your head. Come on. What? We got to buckle this thing down. Yamaka, I get. Got to buckle it down. Got to buckle that gotta down. Got to buckle that down. Guess it's not heavy. Yeah, it's And it's heavy. on the back of your head. Yeah. I used to think that it... It, I was like, yo, that thing's going to fly away. I didn't know that there was a buckle underneath the yarmulkes back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but then, you know, they were up to something. You got to clip it down. I was like, what's under that? Yeah. A buckle. So would you pick the 28th or the 1st? I'd go, uh, I'd go one. I'd go one. Fuck it. Payday. Get that dough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're having a hard time, you get those government you get those government checks. First Man. and one. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson would get eaten alive nowadays, bro. Oh, my God. They would have me too the shit out of Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all of them would have got me too But all of them would have just got beat the fuck up. Oh, hell yeah. It's just mad weird, bro. I know. It's like, yo, why you got blush on and a wig on? Yeah. And like, you're like... How do they make Why are you wearing a petticoat, bro? I know. Like, I've seen, uh, like... Yo, people back in the day wore mad layers. Mad layers. Did like you had like sweat in the fucking seventies. I'm saying, like, and you guys showered in like buckets and shit. Like I you know. guys stunk. You know why? Because you wore mad layers. You had a jacket, and then you had a like a petticoat type shit, and then like that that the shirt that's like not really a shirt. It just has like the ruffled yeah, feathers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like kept fucking Jack Sparrow or whatever. But like even, yo. But even more recently though, like the 1920s, like poor children wore like a three piece suit. Yeah, all the time. It's like, yo, are you so really how poor? poor? Are you? you got a yeah, suit on. You got a suit. Where'd Come you get here. that? Yeah. You got one of those little fucking... It's like, yo, you can't afford to eat? Sell your suit. Yeah. You got one of those little fucking, like, uh, cabbie hats on? This guy's got a pocket watch and a three-piece suit. Only assholes wear those hats now. I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's got his gold, but... That guy owes somebody, like, $1,500 all the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you have that Those hat. guys have not paid their bookie in years. <laughs> Yo, those guys. <laughs> Yo, especially when you when you combine that hat, like the little paper boy hat with uh, a wife beater. Yeah. And like a leather Unbelievable. coat. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Those guys it's are like the worst. like Bruce Willis. Yeah. It's like, come on, bro. Carpenter jeans. They like, haven't been washed in months. Crucifix tattoo. Easily. No, praying hands tattoo with the rose bees around it. And then a crucifix around the yeah. chest. Gr- something like a grandma related tat. Yeah. You know? God bless you. God rest your fucking soul. God rest your soul. That like they like stole sil- silverware from. <laughs> oh my god. Who's that? Nick Kroll? Like Bobby Bottle Service? <laughs> my mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it from my mother. <laughs> I love my mother. <laughs> this is so funny, yo. Yo, I'm telling you. So it's like it's so easy to know. And they and I know they say don't judge a book by its cover. Ah, uh, come on. But if I could take a good enough look at you, I could I could I know can, everything about I'll you. I'll nail it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? If I could just see you and and just see the way you walk. It's one thing that gives it all away. It's just yeah. one. It's just one. Yeah. It's just one. Dude, you ever like <laughs> And those little paper boy hats? Not good. <laughs> you're you know, str- you're having a hard time financially or you <laughs> you you hurt people for a living. One or the other. That's it. Either you're here to collect money yeah. or you're dodging someone because you owe them money. Yes. One or the other, though. In the bar every night. Every night. Every night. Crush and Heineken. What do you think the amount of days in a row? A days? The amount of days in a row that you've gone to, like, out drinking? Like, most in a row. Out? Yeah, like, got, like, have like gone out. Like, yeah, we're going out tonight, going out tonight. Aside going from out. going to Vegas, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a vacation, like, re- like real life. Have you ever done like a five day stretch? Yeah, yeah. I think that's like the most I've ever done. And then I was just like, I can't do this anymore. But it was when I, I think was... I ran out of money one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was literally in a bar. Like, I'd love to come out, but I can't. No, it happened to me in the bar. Like I remember, like it got declined, and this is when I didn't have credit and like couldn't get credit cards. I had zero dollars. I spent it all like in five days. Dude, going I was, out drink. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Wait, so you have, you had zero. Dollars. I had zero dollars, and I had to walk to work for like a week until I got paid. <laughs> yeah, go to school. Now he's got five chains, <laughs> fucking the suit, these ridiculous glasses. I'm and- telling you, I got these glasses because Biggie Small is my favorite rapper, and these are the ones that he wore. 
All okay. right. I like Doesn't Kanye West. I'm not going to get that gigantic chain he wore on the cover of fucking My Dark Twisted Fantasy. <laughs> Love that album, man. This is a good Because when, when we were talking about favorite albums, that's one of my favorite albums of all time. Me too. Like, like musically, nobody's ever matched that album. The way that's, that album sounds sonically, even like... For its genre, you mean? F- for its genre. Yeah. No one's ever Wait, done Wait, do you say that. genre or genre? I say genre. You say genre? Yeah, I don't say genre. Genre? I say genre. But is genre right? No, I think it's genre. Oh, okay. You're saying it right. <laughs> you're saying genre. I say genre. Wait, now you're not saying anything. No, I said genre. Oh, okay. Yeah. Genre. <laughs> genre. Before you were just like, I say genre. I say genre. I was like, what? I said genre. There was a point on the other show that, that I, uh, last week where you say something and I had no idea what you were saying. <laughs> I don't even. It I was don't. just full mumbling. Yeah, I do that from time to time. Yeah. But um, I think that album was like one of the, f- that's might be my favorite hip hop album of all time. It was really good. The reason why I like that album so much too is because of Good Fridays. Yeah, they were leading they were up to awesome. the album. He would yeah. come out with a song on every Friday. Well, yeah. He would drop the artwork to it like yep. the day before, and you'd be like, "Oh fuck!" Like these six like yeah. mainstream big artists are on this song, and they were all fire. <sighs> they were all amazing, and he would drop one every Friday, and they weren't even on the album. When did when did Click come out? Was that around that time? Ain't nobody fucking with my Click. Nah, click. that was afterwards. I think that was after that fucking song was ridiculous. Yeah, the song went crazy. That beat is ridiculous but like i like big sean a lot yeah i do too um that of like that modern era because that was 2010 so i still think of that of like kind of the modern. i don't remember era. the last time an album was like that that i remember the year no i do think good kid mad city is like a really good album but it, there was no like hype leading up to it it's like this album dropped and everyone's like yo holy fuck yeah yeah and the, Cause that album's ridiculous yeah the bitch don't kill my vibe remix with jay-z is fucking ridiculous well, all those fucking ah, songs. Swimming pools. That song is so fire. I mean, that whole album is dope. Even the song with Drake is fire. That's um, just how I feel. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that, that shit. Yeah, but I love that shit. My favorite rap album of all time is Life After Death. That's my favorite rap album of all time. Okay. But um, of like the modern era, like I said, in the last ten years, no one touches that album. My Dark Twisted Fantasy. No chance. Yeah. Yo, from beginning to end, that's that album is ridiculous. Do you remember there would also be videos of him like coming out of him? He's in like a full tuxedo in the in the in the studio. Hell yeah! And you're like, yo, this is so fire. Yeah, that's when he was on like this type of shit. Like he was dressing like this, and like when he does that freestyle with Pusha T, like up in fucking Hot 97, he's got like a tux on. He's like when he does like like a what's the fuck's a beetle black roach. Now you got me sitting here up in fucking coach like yeah. shit like that. Like he was killing it back then, yo. He was like, with Pusha. He wasn't with Common yet, asshole. Yeah. Push. I said push, didn't I? You said common. Oh. He made great music with Common, too. Go. Great song. J. Cole has a good, really good remix of that. J. Cole's new song is fucking ridiculous. Little Child. J. Cole's my favorite artist. Yeah. Now. He, he lost me a little bit after Friday Night Lights for a little bit. Dude, I remember Friday Night... And we're going off on a music tangent. I know, I know, but anyway. Yeah, fuck it. My yeah. show. Yeah. Um, J. Cole, when he dropped the warm-up, Mm-hmm. I just like stumbled upon it by accident. I think actually someone I, put me onto a song called Playground. That was the first J Cole song I've ever heard. If you haven't heard it, really good. Go listen to it. Yeah. Um, and I was like, Yo, who is this? Like, this is fire. Like, whatever. Blah blah blah. And then, um, that was around the warm up was already out. I think. And then I found the come up, which was the one before that. Mm-hmm. All these are all ridiculous. Yeah. And then he got signed. The Friday Night Lights was after that, though, right? Yeah, it was. That's after like that. with light please and shit on it, right? Uh, light please is on warm up. Light, that's on the warm up. Yeah. That's the best one he he did. I think. I think the warm up. No, I think Friday Night Lights is a better project than. I think an overall project, but I like. Warm up's so good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was supposed to. He he was trying to drop an album, but he didn't have a single. I remember this whole thing where like Jay Z like didn't want to put it out because he didn't think there was like any like whatever blah blah blah. That story's great too. How he tried to give Jay Z his album demo before, and he turned him down. Yeah, for people who don't know. J. Cole actually went to college up here in Queens at St. John's. He played basketball, didn't he? No, he didn't play on the team. Oh, I thought he played basketball. No, no, no. He was he's like a basketball player. He didn't play on the team. The oh, okay. team's nice, bro. But the uh, team now is nice. Yeah. But um he waited outside of Jay Z because he knew he was gonna be there for like studio time or whatever. Yeah. And like try to give him his C D and Jay Z like didn't take it. And he's like, oh, man, I was on something like, fuck Jay-Z type yeah, shit yeah. for a little bit. I would be too. And then he got signed to him, which is crazy. That's fucking wild. And then I remember hearing him for the first time on uh, <clears throat> A Star is Born. Yep. 
Damn, dude. That song he was on. I remember even like everyone always says this about artists or whatever, but like Drake, I truly knew before anybody did. Like I re- like me and Impy, right? For s- back then, me and him wanted to do a music blog, so we were doing that. Yeah. And we had like a site, so we were really up on like ground level artists. Yeah. And we knew of Drake, right? And he put out So Far Gone before it got like mainstream, like whatever, because that that mixtape is awesome. Yeah. We were like, yo, this dude's fire. He's going to be mad big one day. And then this whole thing happened with Lil Wayne and Young Well, Bunny. once that fucking, you and my fucking thing. Once I heard that song, I, I was had. like, this guy's going to be huge. But yo, I remember. So like the first time everyone heard that, like, oh shit, this dude's hot. Like whatever, blah, blah, blah. Right. And that's, and then after that, he did the Hot 97. Yeah. With like whatever. With the phone and shit. Yeah. Like, you know, but. I just uh, got different views. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ah. my girls and tools. Yeah, ah, let me talk to him, Flex. Uh, me and Impy were sitting in, the, in a bowling alley. Yeah. And Best I Ever Had came on the radio. Yeah. And we both were like, yo, yep. what the fuck? And it was so cool to be like, yo, we like called it. Yeah, when I first heard uh, High, for, uh, High for This by The weekend, I was like, yo, this was back in like 2009, 2010. I was like, yo, this guy's going to be huge. I, I don't really I wasn't I never got into the weekend. Yeah. He's yeah. good. House, he have good you heard House of Balloons? I don't know the name of any of his albums. Yo, go listen to that fucking album. Fire. Yeah. Fire, son. He I like makes, we, I he like, makes good music. I like it's just not off on a music tangent. It's right not now. it's just not for me. Like I like them in like, moderation. Do you like like I can't listen to a weekend album. Like you, straight through. I can't. Yeah. It's just that 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 genre genre of music doesn't interest me like in that much being like oh i'm gonna listen to an r&b now like r&b like type neo soul type stuff like like in moderation i like in moderation it. like i like all his songs that have had radio play and like little songs that i'll find yeah. or whatever but i just can't just be like yo i'm about to sit and listen to this whole r&b album you want them bars yeah well like yeah. drake's album fucking scorpion yeah the r&b side i was, I was like oh god i can't I yeah. just, it's too much it was, it was way too much. Anyway. Do you think albums should be should be that length? No. Or should they be shorter? Shorter, bro. I would say uh, the sweet spot for me is is uh, ten to twelve. Yeah, I think so. But like, give me an hour of music <clears throat> so I could like actually listen to it all the way through. Well, how many songs were on Stillmatic? Like six, eight, or Illmatic? Yeah, I was like Stillmatic was a long album. No, no, no. Uh, Illmatic was like six songs or some shit, or like eight. It was short, but that one I felt like was too short. I want to know before I guess. I'm trying to count them all in my head. It was written as fire too. That's my favorite Nas album. Yeah. I, I, I was like a big Nas. You're from Queens. You better be. Back in the day. Like I was like really big on Nas. <sighs> Memory lane. Of, uh, might have 10 songs on it. I'm looking. It might have 10. Oh, it does have 10 songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is, it was written. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, I'm not thinking of this one. What am I thinking of? It might be thinking of Stillmatic. Illmatic's got 10, right? Illmatic has 10, yes. Yeah, see, yeah, I knew that. Damn, I look like a... No, nah, Stillmatic has 15. What yeah, album still... am I thinking of then? It could have been like like that lost, his Lost Tapes album or something. Whatever. I don't know, but... But, uh, yeah, I, yeah, like, people will say, like, yo, Illmatic, I like it was written just as much as, as Illmatic. They're all good. They're all good. Hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop is dead. Nas, one of the best rappers, one of the worst beat choosers of all time. Yeah, but he just still does it. Yeah. He just still does it. Because his thing was Nas, it was written, I am. Nas is like. Nas Half man, half amazing. That uh, that other shit that they did. But, um. So who's in your top five rappers? So it's. Oh, my top five rappers of all time? Kanye, that, like, Cole. Best rappers or, or like the ones that I like? Yeah, you're, it's yours. It's yours. Oh, uh, I like, well, not, um, yeah, Nas is in there. Tupac's in there. Uh, I like that we're talking about music. We don't really talk about music ever. much. Yeah. Uh, even outside of the show. We I know, I about. know. Uh, Nas is in there. Tupac's in there. J. Cole, Kanye West, and then maybe. J. Cole, Kanye West. Five's always tough. Yeah. See, I respect Jay-Z so much, but I've never been like a huge like, oh, yeah. Like, I love Reasonable Doubt, but I don't really love everything else. Right. You know? And, like, he has great songs, and he's Jay-Z, Fuck bro. Yeah, like, he he's legendary, but, like, I yeah. never was like, you boy! Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, the Black Album? Did you listen to the Black Album? Yeah, I listened to Do you know the Black Album well? It's a good album. It's a great album. Yeah, but it's not, like, it's not Reasonable Doubt. No. Reasonable Doubt wasn't even popping when it first came out. That's yours fire, bro. And then and then it just caught, it caught on after. 
Got once it, once Biggie it. died, New York was kind of looking for like, yo, like, what are we going to do? You got to think about it like this. This is how crazy rap is, right? 96, Pac dies. 97, Tupac dies. 98? You just said Pac and then Tupac. Oh, Pac dies and then Biggie dies in 97. Yeah. And then in 98, the real Slim Shady LP comes out. What a fucking time to be alive. And then in 1998, It's Dark and Hell is Hot comes out. So th these are how separated these rap superstars were within each other. Because DMX at one point was the biggest rapper and was in it? the world. Yeah. He had two platinum albums in the same year. What? A, <laughs> that's absurd. What about uh, 50s album? When was that? 2003. 2003, 2002. I remember everything about that, about that album. I could recite that fucking album in my sleep. I love that album. But it's also just What's like. What's your favorite song off that album? Mine's Heat. I just, I just was like, Heat. Yo, Heat's fine. That's why it's my gym playlist. I'm going to get in the other car. Yeah. Uh, man, man is fire, too. It's beef cocking it up, but there's no <laughs> way to stop <laughs> it. brings out. Yeah. Yeah. That shit used to get me hype in the fucking, like, yeah, when I used like to exercise. little white kid. When yeah. I used to exercise. <laughs> I was like, yeah, put heat on. Yeah. Put up on you with them things out. I was like, yo, this fucking shit is fire, yo. But Get Rich or Die Trying, that took over the world. Yeah. Yo, by the way, and then two thousand. I'll say yo, and then my, my, 1999, sorry, 1999, The Chronic came out, 2001. I don't know why that album came out in 1999, but it was 2001. And then in 2000, the Marshall Mathers LP came out. Dude. They lived through some music, bro. And then when did uh, Graduation come out? 2003? Graduation? I don't know. It's, nah. Yeah. 2000. It was later, I think. I it thought was what well, i mean the college dropout when was the college dropout oh yeah no 03, graduation right? was 07 college dropout was 03 right that sounds about right four 2004. 2004 like what what was going on between 2000 2004 it was like that down south shit like like, like uh little, Yang Yang twins yeah like little john and shit <laughs> yeah it was like 2000 and then uh and then m was still around but then it was 50 uh, Encore, I think it was around there. Encore, Get Rich or Die Trying. I think J Jigga put an album out too around that time. But yeah, Jay Z put an album out on 9 11, I remember. Did he? Yeah. I don't remember that. Yeah. What was uh, this? Yeah, 2004. Uh, yeah, 2004 was Encore. And then when, when did um, when did Through the Wire drop, though? 2002, oh, right? Probably. Yeah, dude. I remember being on the bus in middle years school. Ago. I remember being on the bus in middle school and there was these two kids that were in eighth grade and they were rapping all the words to it and we all had walk. Yeah, that song. What happened? I don't know. The internet, dude. That's what happened. Probably. It's just... The, uh, it's Albums so, were so much cooler because it was like... There, that's all you had. Yeah, it was. there was no like music that just dropped. It's you just, know? Like it's there so were singles, but like it was on the radio and it was just like... like Albums were just really fucking good. Yeah. You know, I will say, by the way, my fifth, Lil Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Lil Wayne. He was there. He, yo, Lollipop Bro, and Wayne. all that. He was the biggest rap star in the world. Lil Wayne. Yeah, he said, I'm the greatest rapper alive. And he just kept saying it until it was true. Yo, all of his mixtapes, like the Drought fucking mixtapes. Oh, my tapes, God. The Drought 3. I, I know every single song. Every they're single so fire. Like the Carter 3 was so fucking dope. The Carter 1, 2, and 3 were all dope. Yeah. Damn, dude. he was. You know the only the reason why I love Lil Wayne so Lollipop, much. Lollipop, the remix with Kanye too is uh, insane. Yeah, but yo, Lil Wayne was on every single song that was on the radio. Yep, like every song. Yeah, like he, as soon as the song starts, like hear the, t -t -t -t, and yep. you're like, yeah, like you knew, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that, he had bars too, though. Like, like God. Weezy could rap. Back I then. loved him. Yeah, I loved him. Man. My top five of all time, in not any particular order, is DMX. Um. Biggie. Biggie, for sure. Uh, Kanye. Um, Jadakiss. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm from that area, and he's just he's he's a god to me. Um, <laughs> Why is Jadakiss as hard as it gets? gets? Yo, I'm telling you. Um, you Why know? the industry designed to keep the artists in debt? And it's a toss-up between Nas and M for the last spot. I missed M. Spot. I missed M a little bit. Yeah, you were just like a couple years too young for that tape. Yeah. Yeah. But um, 
I knew that, like the level, and I obviously like I lived through like yeah, of course. You, you remember me, seeing like, yeah, yeah. You yeah, remember all seeing all those albums? Like the Up and Smoke tour was fucking. Dude, I remember running home from school to see like the the Hi My Name Is video, <sighs> like oh. watching on TRL. It's like oh, oh number one, uh, yeah, and watching that. Yeah, Carson Dale up there like. Again, for the 419th week in a row, we have <laughs> yeah. Eminem. Yeah. And then I got the album, and I was like, yo, I should not be listening to this. Yeah. yeah. I, my One mom... time I had a Kid Rock album in my house, and the CD was just a, just this. <laughs> it was the, it was just printed on a CD of a middle finger. And my dad's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> was it Devil Without a Cause? It was, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. It, that had like Cowboy and like Ball with the Ball. Yeah, and... yeah, Devil Without a Cause. My name is Kid! Yeah that, yeah, that album was pretty good too, though. A little racist. Yeah. yeah. Little Confederate. It's a I, little crazy. I was a rapper, now I'm racist. Yeah. I was a rapper, now I don't know. Remember Bubba Sparks? Call it Bob Bubba Sparks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's my top five. Pun's close too, but he, he died too early. Word. Big Pun was fucking nice, yo. And it's so hard. Yo, he was, in the he, middle of little, little. Everyone knew that. So, that's that, like, the whole one. Everyone knew that. Pack of the Mac in the back of the act. That's yo, that, sire, yeah. that song with Fat Joe. It's like, what's that called again? Twin, twins? Uh, Deep Cover. Deep Cover. Yeah. That song is fire. Yeah. The original Deep Cover is fire, too. With fucking drains. Ready yeah. for war, dog. How you want to blow this spot? Damn, dude. Music. Music. Sorry about that, guys, but you're going to have to deal with that. That was just me and Danny talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say hip hop changed my life. What's that? Uh, hip hop's changed my life. 100%. It's had so much influence on me, more than anything else. What are you, hit Lupe Fiasco? No, I'm just saying. Think about it, though. No, oh, yeah, 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 I agree. Think about music it. Music does that. It's important. Yeah, I think, I think music and like comedians were the biggest influences on my life of all time. Like South Park is such a huge influence on my life. Never got into it. I don't know why, but I have to. Yeah, I think I think you would love a lot of their earlier stuff, and then um, I just hip hop has been hip hop influenced so much. Like, it's just the swag effect of hip hop is just everlasting. Wow, that was deep as shit. I I I, I mean, you're a deep guy. I'm a deep guy. I understand. I just turned thirty. You know what I'm saying? You well, know how people always say, like. What kind of music do you like? I like everything. Yeah. I truly do, though. Yeah, of course. Like, if you look at my, my Spotify, I have a list. I have playlists that are hip-hop, mm-hmm. weird, like, Avicii-style songs. House, house, house uh, shit. Uh, not really house EDM. music, but, like, EDM. Blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Blah. Uh, there's obviously hip-hop, a lot of classic rock. Yeah. I would say that's, that's probably your, that's my your favorite biggest genre. genre. Yeah, it's classic rock. And then, like, I've dabbled in country. The only thing I've never like I can't get into is like opera. I I I've I I listen to opera. Well, I mean like Ave Maria. Yeah. No, but like like uh, my my grandma listened to it a lot, so it was always around like Pavarotti and shit. I like old shit too. Like I have like, like a, Andrea I have Bocelli. A, I have an old playlist called Black and White Music, and it's yeah. all like Louis Armstrong and yeah. fucking Sam Cooke. That's all the, the Righteous Brothers. Brothers. That's when like I used Georgia, to, <laughs> I used Georgia. To hate, I used to hate when my parents would be like, we had the best music. And I would just be like, nah, but I was like, yo, they were right. They did. Yeah. They had the best music of all time. I always think about like Leonard Skinner. Yeah. Right? Freebird is a ridiculous, like that. that dude, yo, that was Guitar two, Hero, it was so fun. Two guys playing the same shit on the guitar at the same time and somehow, like, and it, it was just absurd, right? Also, like Van Halen, like you have Eddie Van Halen playing this fucking solo with the cigarette and the fucking guitar, fucking shredding that shit. They had the they had the best music of all time. They did, they did. And I remember I watched a video uh, of Leonard Skinner performing in person. I don't know if it was at I don't think it was at Woodstock, but it was at like uh, I, that might even be at the. They're same. doing Woodstock again. Yeah, and people like died. No, no, no. They're doing it again. Oh, they're gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like the fiftieth anniversary. Or There's something. no one around good enough to be like connected to. Woodstock. Nah, it'd be like John Mayer and like a couple of. I people. mean, he shreds. That's what I'm saying. Like, but he doesn't shred enough to like his music doesn't shred. No, but he shreds. He shreds. One of the best guitarists in the world, probably. Um, but the video was like an outdoor sort of concert thing. Yeah. And they're playing, and I'm like, dude, I don't think these people even realize what they're watching right now. I know. Like it's absurd. Yeah. They're so fucking good. There's like a lot of like... And like the Eagles and the Stones and the Beatles. I know. 
Like you got to see all these people and Van Halen and fucking Yo, the Beatles had to stop playing live music because it was too people were screaming too much. They couldn't hear the music. Isn't that crazy? Unbelievable. I wanna hold your hand. Yeah, and they're and they, <laughs> but their music changed so much from like then <laughs> to like the shit that they were putting out when they like all started taking you drugs see and shit. The sky with diamonds. Unbelievable. Rocky Raccoon. I love that song. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, we think we can wrap up the music talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been talking for an hour and 40 minutes. Hey, it happens sometimes. It happens. Danny, where can they find you? You can find me at Danny Low Priority on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, guys, go support the show by heading to patreon.com slash the basement yard. Patreon spelled P A T R E O N dot com slash the basement yard. And uh, you can follow me on all social media at Joe Santagato. And that is all. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Danny. I said happy birthday, but fuck you. All right. Happy birthday, Danny. Danny's 30, guys. Thanks, guys. That is all. We'll see you guys next time.